When you're looking to buy a drone, should you buy it online, from a store, or directly from the manufacturer? Let's try and help you decide. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at where to buy a drone from. Now, there are lots of options when you're looking to buy a racing drone or a consumer photography video drone, like a DJI product, but there are pros and cons to each approach. Let's discuss them in this video. So when you buy a drone from an online retailer such as Gearbest or Banggood, generally they are based in China or Hong Kong. For that reason, when you order something, it's being shipped into your country from that country. That means it's going to invoke duty or tax. Now the rate of that duty or tax will vary depending on country to country, but it can be as much as £80 or $110 plus. So be very, very careful and check your local laws before you order a product. When you buy direct from a manufacturer, however, such as DJI, any tax or duty is prepaid for you by that manufacturer, therefore removing any possible risk of having to pay it when it arrives in your country. Now, this is a key one, unfortunately, with products like the DJI Mavic Pro. They are renowned for their gimbal failures due to generally a ribbon cable fault. The cost of repairing that can sometimes stretch to having to buy a new gimbal and camera as well, totaling around £250, $300. However, if it is just a ribbon cable, then around $100. But that's still quite an outlay for some, having just spent $1,000 on the drone. Now, if you buy your drone direct from the manufacturer or you buy it from a physical retail store, the likelihood is that your warranty is going to be valid with the manufacturer. However, buy from retailers like Gearbest and Banggood and the likelihood is that your warranty will only be valid in China. Therefore, if you've got a problem with your drone, you're going to have to be responsible for sending it back to China or taking up a claim with that retailer. However, there is a flip side to this and if you look at some of the combo deals, you can save upwards of £300 or $350 by buying from an online non-DJI retailer. That gives you quite a bit of money to set aside for any possible repairs that you might have to make and if you remember that the manufacturer warranty is only valid for a year so on that basis not having a warranty and saving that kind of money may not be a negative for all so another consideration is stock. If you look at retailers like DJI, they are manufacturing constantly and they're selling far more units than any of the other retailers. For that reason, when you buy a drone directly from them, the likelihood is that you'll get the very latest manufactured fresh stock. After a product is released, there will be bugs and issues and hardware normally is revised only on a very minor basis, but slight changes to components or circuitry or the way that the drone is constructed will be made over time. If you buy from an online retailer that aren't selling as many units, you may get aged shelf stock. That might mean that you're not getting the very latest and greatest. So buying direct from the manufacturer can give you that extra peace of mind that you are getting the latest. So the other option is walking into a store like Best Buy or Maplins or even Argos if they're still working with companies like DJI after the leak a few weeks ago. The benefit there is if you do have any problems, you've got a store that you can physically go to with that faulty drone and most of the time they'll swap it for a new model there and then. However, some stores have exceptions on products like drones, so do check the terms and conditions of that store before you buy. And in addition, make sure that all of the original tamper seals are still in place on the boxing and packaging to make sure that you're not getting a unit that's been returned by somebody else. And one final point, if you buy direct from the manufacturer, you're actually helping to support that manufacturer with the future evolution of their products. When a manufacturer like DJI provides products to a third party like Gearbest or Maplins or Argos, DJI are losing some of their profit margin. Whereas if you buy it from them direct, that entire profit margin goes to them. Now DJI aren't very generous with their margins with their dealers and retailers, unfortunately, but for other manufacturers, that profit margin could be key to sustaining them in the future. So hopefully this has been really useful. Comment below with your thoughts. I also would love to know where do you buy your drones from and for what reason? It's just about to chuck it down with rain here. In fact, it already is raining in England. So I'm gonna cut this video now, give it a thumbs up and of course click that share button. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that too. Thanks for watching.